Understanding Get Off the Ferry in English. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a commonly used phrase in English, get off the ferry. This expression is a great example of how English often uses simple words to convey specific actions, especially related to transportation. So, let's explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Firstly, let's break down the phrase, get off the ferry. A ferry is a type of boat or ship that carries people, vehicles, and goods across a body of water, often from one port to another. The phrase, get off, refers to the action of leaving or disembarking from a vehicle. So, literally, to get off the ferry, means to step down or disembark from the ferry onto the dock or pier. This is a physical action that you might do when you reach your destination after a ferry ride. Now, let's see how this phrase can be used in different sentences. 1. Make sure you have all your belongings when you get off the ferry. 2. We got off the ferry and felt the cool sea breeze. 3. Can you text me once you get off the ferry? In these examples, the phrase is used to describe the action of leaving the ferry, either as an instruction, a description of an experience, or a request for communication. While, get off the ferry, is straightforward, it's important to know the context in which it's used. Primarily, it's used in conversations about travel, especially when giving directions or recounting travel experiences. There are variations of this phrase depending on the type of transportation, such as, get off the bus, get off the train, or get off the plane. The structure remains the same, but the mode of transportation changes. Understanding phrases like, get off the ferry, helps in comprehending and participating in everyday English conversations, especially related to travel. Remember, the beauty of language lies in its simplicity and practicality. We hope this video has been helpful in your journey to mastering English. Keep practicing, and see you in the next lesson.